Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we got a couple of man's perfumes, colognes, however you want to call them. And these are going to be good for the summer. So these are, some of them are clones. One of them is a designer fragrance. And um, I got a couple of other freebies um, in case you cannot find one of these fragrances. So first off, let's start with Club de Nuit Milestone by Armoff. So this guy right here, it could be a unisex fragrance. A lot of people say it's more masculine leaning. And you could get this for around less than $30, depending on where you buy it. So this is a 3.4 ounce. So you're gonna have 100 mils. Uh, this came out in 2019 and it's a clone of an Aventus uh, Millisemi or something like that. Creed Millisemi or some weird name. Uh, I've never really had tried this fragrance before. Um, I just got it out of a blind buy. And I would say that it is a safe blind buy. It's also a safe gift. I'm pretty sure whoever buy, whoever gets this is going to enjoy it. Um, so first let's start off with the top notes, which are gonna be C notes, red fruits, and bergamot. So you're gonna have some citrus, some fruit, and a lot of C notes. When you spray this thing, it's gonna come out a little bit salty like watermelon, but it, it's not as bad as it might seem. Some people say that it smells like cucumber or um, like pickle juice. Um, to me, it doesn't smell like that. And then the middle notes are gonna be violet and then wood. And then at the base notes is uh, musk, ambroxan, and vetiver. The reason I'm saying this is a good buy is because to me, it smells really good. It does remind me a lot of the beach, like that, that cest, that uh, spray, the ocean spray. So it is a really good fragrance. I haven't used it as much as I want to because I've been using other fragrances just to test. But if I had one of those fragrances that I could use all year, if the all year was summer, if I lived in the Caribbean, it would be this guy. Second, let's go with a designer fragrance. This is gonna be for Mont Blanc. And we have Mont Blanc Explorer Blue. So this guy right here smells really good. I like it a lot and it's super cheap. Um, one of the things that it reminds me of a lot is like a Swiss Army Knife fragrance that I have, which is Rolf's Club Parfum. Now this is a bit more expensive than Explorer Blue, but if you have the money and you can afford this, then I would say comparable to Explorer, I would just rather buy Parfum by Ralph's Club. But right now, if you're in a budget under $30, you could go ahead and find this in Joma Shop and other um, discounters. Retail, it might be a little bit more expensive, but I know I bought it from Joma Shop and it was discounted. You could get this around below $30, but it, the price might, might increase if you're trying to get a, a bigger bottle, like a hundred mils. So this was launched in 2021 and the notes are Sicilian, Sicilian bergamot, pink pepper, and exotic fruits. It does come, um, come out as a little bit fruity. So if you don't like fruity fragrances, here, let me spray this real quick. If you don't like, whew, yeah smells really good I like it um, if you don't like fruity fragrances then give it a pass to me if a female wore this I wouldn't really mind them wearing it but it does lean a little bit more masculine then you have in the C notes in the middle notes ambergris and then on the base it dries down to a leather and a woodsy note so it doesn't last that long, that's one thing I would say. So if you want a fragrance that lasts long and gives you a lot of uh, projection, this is not gonna be it. But if you carry this with you or you have one of those travel size uh, bottles that you could transfer this to, then you could spray it all day and you will be fine. I remember I when I tested this, I got like around four hours of um, fragrance that I could smell and um, it didn't really fill up a room, but you know, I smell good and I liked it. I would say that this is a blind buy safe. Um, 
because it smells really good and I'm, I don't think this is gonna offend anybody. And you could use this anywhere also. So, but for the summers, it will smell really good, really fresh. And that's what you wanna have in the summer, something that smells fresh. So you could pick this up on our discounters. It does, it does give that vibe of like, uh, like Old Spice kind of, sometimes, you know, like that generic kind of like out of the shower smell, but I like it. So just a cheap fragrance that you could get under 30 bucks. Let's move this to the side. And then last but not least is one of those fragrances that I really like. And um, this is a clone of um, Homage Reflection. And I tried Homage Reflection Man 45, I think is the, the other one. And I have a sample bottle here somewhere. Let me see if I could find it. Here it is, Almash Reflection. And uh, let me see if the camera, let me get this camera to focus, please. There it is. So I could say for certainty that this fragrance smells just like Omash Reflection. And I also tried Omash Reflection Man, and I have it in this bottle right here, uh, the 45. And it's not the same, but this is a more stronger version than the Reflection. So what does it smell like and what's the price? So if you search enough, you will find this for around below $40. That's why I left it for last because it's a little bit more expensive. But um, some shops might have it for $30. And you know, depending on where you get it, I would say, it says right here that Yoma Shop has it now for 30 bucks, but it has the wrong picture in there. So I don't know what that is all about. But this is called Shiaka Kudlach for men. This is a woody fragrance, aromatic fresh and spicy there's iris and it's white floral but the white floral takes over uh, that iris scent so it's not too irisy this is a uh, clone of i already said reflection man almash reflection man and or reflection and it has rosemary on the top notes pepper pettigrain and in the middle notes is orris jasmine neroli so you got lots of flowers in there and then you have vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. And then that will be on the dry down. And that, you, that will be the woody notes. To me, this is one of those fragrances that I always compare to colors. Let me spray some here. Um, whew, yes. So it reminds me of like church. It reminds me of like white color. It reminds me of freshness. It reminds me of like a field of flowers, like white flowers. But when you say that, it sounds kind of like it smells a lot female-ish. I could see some females might be able to wear this and get away with it, but it's a masculine fragrance. It's manly. And if you wear this, you're going to smell really good. And I think it's worth the price. Um, compared to blue though, this is more of a spring fragrance, you know, when the flowers are blooming and all that stuff. But you know, it's still a fragrance that you could use in the summer and smell fresh. Um, compared to Ralph's Club, this is not in that realm again. And then this is more of a, Milestone is more of a fresh blue ocean inspired, you know, like you're in the beach, that zest of the, of the beach. So I've covered these out of all of these, let me get this out of here. I, me personally, I would rather use Shiaka. Um, beware, because I think these this bottle uh, came cracked. I don't know if you can see it right there. Uh, but it's not leaking, so it has maintained its fragrance. All right, now I'm gonna go over, if you cannot find Shiaka, right? Well, which uh, fragrance should you buy? Well, if you can't find this one, um, you could also go with Sculpture, which is another fragrance that's a floral fragrance. Or you could go with Sculpture Parfum, which is the same as Sculpture by Nikos, but the, uh, the, the fragrance is a little bit more darker. So it's, uh, it's still a white floral fragrance um, like Shiaka, but it comes in with a little bit of bergamot, orange blossom, 
lemon and then mandarin orange and that could add the effect of a, a blue fragrance like uh, you're in the sea like a uh, ocean fragrance uh, let me spray some over here oh yeah it still smells like church it still has that you know like i'll call it evangelical scent like that uh floral it is in the same realm as she as shiaka and i like it i like floral scents i like floral fragrances i like fragrances that have iris in them kind of like prada um my newest fragrance that i like and enjoy is prada another prada that's the ocean uh, versace it's another fragrance that you could get away with for the summer and it is not that expensive i think you could get versace uh el frage for like around 40 bucks um but now i don't want to get into other fragrances because they're going to be a little bit more expensive uh, you could also try um el adventure by al harameen and this is a clone of aventus creed but i think aventus creed fragrances are already kind of played out so not a lot of people want to smell the same as uh, somebody else out there um you could also get mont blanc explorer for a little bit more money i think this one's um i think on the joma shop you could get it mont blanc explorer for around 32 dollars um what else do i have here that's cheap um and affordable oh yeah classic og um good old izimiyaki you could get that for cheap um you could also get the flanker solar lavender now that's not too cheap that's like around 50 bucks so if you're willing to spend 50 bucks then oh, that's on you and then it's, it's other flanker fusion dz which smells awesome but that one is again 50 bucks um something more darker not really forward or not really a summer fragrance but you can still get away with it wearing it in the summer is bogart uh, for ohm now this is a woody fragrance so if you want to wear something that's woody in the summer you could go ahead and use that that is super cheap that's like around 15 dollars let's keep it going with the bonus section here let's go with cheap 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 um here um l adventure night this is a irish tweed i think uh clone i like this a lot this this reminds me of like a sad uh day when it's raining uh you might be like well why does why do you like us like a sad day i don't know it just gives me memories of you know when in puerto rico when it's when it rained and it hit the asphalt and did that you know you could smell that in the air and then last i would this will be the last one um it's uh the clone of Bar uh, baccarat road or rouge 540 this is baracat road and this one could run you around 19 bucks. I lied, this is the last one. <sighs> if you're willing to spend 20 bucks on a bottle of this size, this is um, Terra de Hermes uh, Il Givre. This thing smells really good. It reminds me of like fresh cut grass. 20 bucks for this small size, but you know, if you wanna try it, you could go ahead and buy this. The bigger ones cost like around $92. So get away with getting this little one so that there you go there you have it this is all what i think you guys could get for summer and they're really cheap but um my bet is on the cloud lodge uh, right here it smells really good white and floral versace's au frage really good and cheap and then sculpture down back there those would be the good bets and if you want to smell unique milestone by our moth around 30 bucks and you're going to smell unique all right guys thank you for watching this is an uncut version of my videos I, i'm trying to be a little bit more up there you know not try to be monotone it's like somebody uh, mentioned the other day in the comment section i do you know read those comments if you like this video please leave a like if you didn't like the video don't leave a thumbs down just put it in the comments let me know some constructive criticism that way i could better my videos and please don't forget to subscribe that way you can keep watching my videos support the channel if you go to my etsy page i'm going to have some links down below you could buy some of my stuff 
And um, again, guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Catch you on the next video.